God uses them to wake us up, to awaken us. The, the chosen ones that are asleep, the ones that are in idolatry, like me, that just didn't know. I would have been in hell wondering, like, God, why am I here? And sometimes God will break your heart to save your soul. He will. So I have a, a Coach Luana girl. I, I, I just hear yeah, fully loaded with the questions, right? So, Coach, would you say there is a certain type of women narcissistic men look for? Or a certain type of men narcissistic women look for, like their characteristics they look for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, narcissists, period, they love people pleasers. Um, they love people who are gonna, who have mercy hearts like us, who have the hearts of a servant. Because they know that when, first of all, when you're a people pleaser, you don't have your identity in Christ. You don't know who you are. You, you're not operating in your authority. So you're just sitting there to seeking validation from the outside world. So they love people who are people pleasers, people who have weak boundaries or no boundaries that will allow them to come in their life, hurt them, leave, discard them, come back. Because narcissists always come back. They don't ever just truly discard you if they truly discard you that means that the supply that they have after you is like so on such a, a whole nother level financially um they're connected socially that they're like oh you're nothing compared to that person like really high but they really don't let people go um what you can do is shame them so much like my ex-husband he tried to like you know he tries to hoover every now and then come back and but i blocked him on everything so it's like he has to call and try to do things through fake numbers but they look for people who don't have intimacy with God. They love lukewarm Christians. Narcissists love them because you, you're already compromised. You already have open doors to the enemy. So if, if you're going out on a date with a narcissist and you go to